What it do, ATM crew? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, ATM Louie and Sticks, back with another banger video. Before I even get started showing y'all what I picked up at the gun show, I need everybody that's watching this video to like, comment, subscribe down below. Man, I need you to comment what you think I had picked up at the gun show down below before I show you guys, before I show y'all. You know I gotta do a little hydrating before I get started because I'm outside for you guys um, in, a, in a place where I won't get distracted. Like, I need some quiet... You know what I'm saying? So I came outside, decided to come out here, but I definitely got to hold on. I got to head to hydrate. Now, look, I've been receiving some messages. I've been receiving messages and people have been asking me, yo, Louie, where you what you picked up from the gun show, man? Show me what you got from the gun show. And um, I wanted to record more, more footage of y'all. I didn't drop it yet, but I wanted to record more footage for you guys to show what they had in there. Um, some of the firearms and accessories that he had in there as well as magazines and different things in that nature man Just wanted to show you guys more, but they told your boy. I couldn't record. They ain't want to see me win They ain't want to see your boy shining man. So look I need everybody without further ado I need everybody to like comment subscribe to this video. I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up today This is gonna be a gun review of the firearm that I did pick up at the gun show And um, I hope you guys like this video. So get your boy right turn me up Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the gun show, man. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to tell y'all boys, for all my Glock lovers, you're going to love this video. I mean, me per se, I'm not necessarily just a Glock lover. I like SIGs and, uh, you know, your Canics over the Glock. But, you know, I had got a deal that I couldn't resist. That's the only reason. Well, I'm not going to say the only reason. The looks was crazy, too. But, you know, I had to pick up that glock 43x i'm about to open it up usually um well you know all their boxes or all their packaging come in the same kind of box it's nothing too crazy or nothing um i would say the presentation is nothing too crazy like a fn like if you get an fn or a canic or something like that then the the packaging and the, the pre presentation and what they have to offer inside of it is going to be quite a bit more than what you get for a glock but i'm gonna show y'all what i picked up i'm gonna show you guys what i got no other no other than a Glock 43X, man. I picked it up. They gave me a good deal. And this is no regular one. They did do a pretty good job with the stippling and the Cerakoting on the front, on the uh, slider, on the slide. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they did give, they did a good job. Now, the guy that I talked to who sold me this firearm told me, he told me, that's what he said, y'all. He said he spent 18 hours on this customization as far as, like, getting this handle right and the Cerakoting on the top. He told me it took him 18 hours. It looked good, though. You can't lie. It looked good. For the people who won't, who be hating on Glocks, I don't hate on Glocks. I'm just not the biggest fan. I like Glocks. All right, don't get me wrong. I like Glocks. This is my first Glock, however. But, you know, most people probably will go to the 19X, the 19, the 17, um, the guns like that in that range, uh, that area or range um, as far as 9mm. This is the 43X. They do have the 43, and this is chambered and nine millimeter and for all the youtube watchers and the patrol people on youtube the firearm is not loaded and it is empty pointing in the same direction it's clean now the only thing i don't like about this firearm is the capacity i don't even care too much about the sights the sights aren't too bad even though i wish it was just the white dots with the um the back the back sights right here the the, the, the rear sights I only wish it was blacked out because it allows you to focus more on the on the front, on the front sights. But the only thing that I think wish could have went better as far as dealing with this gun is the capacity, man. They only allow you to have up to 10 rounds. These clips, the standard clips, which it came with three, uno, dos, and tres, only allow you three rounds. I mean, uh, 10 rounds with three magazines. Um, 10 rounds. As you can see, it has the, the holes on the back to let you know or to indicate how many bullets that you have inside of it. Now, with guns such as your Canic Mete and um, you have uh, Stealth Arms, you know, different things in that nature. They come with like a capacity of 12, same size or maybe even smaller, around 12 or, you know, um, uh, 15 rounds in the, in the magazine. You probably can find some for uh, 20 round capacities. But these only allow you to have 10. Well, the standard magazine. You can get an extendo or an extension magazine. Or you can get a drum or anything of that nature. Or even get a base plate to add a couple of more um, bullets in the um, 
in the magazine. Another thing is, this is my first Glock, so I have sh I have shot a couple of Glocks, but this is my own personally. My first Glock that I purchased was the 43X. Um, the the as far as the trigger, as far as the trigger, um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I like the Sig uh, trigger over. It's it's a little lighter on the Sig, and the the snapping is the break and everything is much crispier. But here, it's not too bad. No, you do get a, a pretty good trigger for the Glock as far as the regular um how they manufacture these guns it's not a bad trigger it's not like a taurus or a high point up like that but it, it is pretty good for what you're paying for and it's not a bad price so i paid a little over what 400 bucks for this 43x a little over 400 400 bucks they gave me a pretty good deal on it so i picked it up and i was like you know what i'll go with it um but as far as the trigger i'm gonna let you guys see what that's like you know what i'm saying i had to break no all there it is. I'm gonna. You hear that? So it's not too bad, as you can see. The breaking, the breaking point, as far as the breaking point is triggered, it's not too bad. The wall on this trigger is not too bad. The slack is not bad at all. It's better than the Taurus. You know, I do have a Taurus, which is um, chambered in 40 caliber. 40 Smith and Western and that is a G2C the, the slack is just like the trigger come all the way up here and you got this much slack and then when you get down here that's where the break apart so all this much you know what I'm saying it is better it's way better than a lot of your handguns so this is not the worst option I'm telling you Glock lovers don't hate me for this I would go with the SIG but you know as far as the triggering but you know you you don't get this is a it's 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 not a canic. It was not a bang for your buck, but you know. Now, I'm not going to lie. They did give me a pretty good price. They gave me a pretty good price as far as the Glock. The Glock, you're going to pay around that price. But it also came with this job. Like I said before, the red, it looks like a matte red in person. But on camera, it might not be a matte red. This is chambered in 9mm again. And the stippling is kind of crazy on here. They took their time with this. I ain't going to lie. No cap. They took their time with this one. No cap. It is a nice gun. Now, for this, for people with my size hands or bigger, you know, I have pretty nice size hands. Um, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, I would say that the slide or the barrel is 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 a little shorter, but it gives you enough handle to be able to hold it. And the barrel is also short enough to where you won't get so much kickback or so much. Um, I would say it doesn't come up or lift up as much. You can handle it like. It's not really like a short barrel, a short, short handle, short barrel on a short handle. It's a longer handle um, with a short slide or short barrel. So you'll be able to hold it and contain it from popping up, you know. So they did a pretty good job with this gun. So this is not all totally um, just trash. It's not a trash gun. But the only thing I don't like is the capacity because there are firearms around this size that has the capacity um, of, of a bigger or full size firearm um pistol boys getting hot hold on <sighs> cooking out here but yeah like i said man i'm not even gonna go too much about too much in detail um, or give y'all much more of a video but make sure y'all like comment subscribe to this channel and get me right turn me up man so i can show y'all more firearms show y'all more ammo show y'all more accessories all the things that i get i want y'all to see and plus we growing together so like I said, if you at crib doing nothing and you watching this video right now, you chilling. If you with your lady friend, ladies, if you with your guy friend, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Get your boy right. Turn me up, man. Turn your click up. They get it.